Did you know that Aldi now offers curbside pickup and delivery? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another kind of supermarket chat. We used to do it uh, every week. We'd talk about the flyers that we got in the uh, mail or wherever they came. Uh, but we haven't done that uh, in a while because it was pointless because all we did was f tell you how bad most of the food you buy at a supermarket uh, is or was. So, but today we're going to talk about Aldi. Aldi is one of my favorite supermarkets around because they are affordable. They're common sense. They run a lean operation. They don't uh, have 8 billion people. I think they have three employees on staff at all times. And that's uh, pretty amazing. They work really hard. And, and I heard the working conditions weren't that great, but the pay is better. So it's a little bit of a challenge for these. I, they're most, mostly young people that work there. It seems like maybe it teaches them a lesson about hard work and, and efficiency. When this whole crisis started, they didn't have a curbside pickup or delivery. You had to go to the store. And I guess they figured out after five months or so that they can uh, partner up with Instacart. And it's very interesting because Aldi, we found that had this pickup was in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, and there was no charge for the pickup. Like ShopRite charges $5 to pick up your food. And I think even other Aldis uh, across the country might charge, I think, a, a meager fee, like two bucks, $1.99. I didn't know what to expect. I never used uh, Instacart. Instacart is the app or the company that handles the ordering process for, for Aldi. I didn't know what to expect. I'm thinking it was going to be a little bit of a hassle. I mean, like the online shopping we've done at other, other supermarkets has been a little bit uh, iffy especially in the beginning, ShopRite was, was horrible and it's substandard because it's hard to find the things you want and the search results aren't that great. I did my first order back in September with Aldi. It was extremely accurate. It, was, it found almost everything I was looking for. It wasn't hard to find anything. The search results were very accurate as far as I was concerned, or at least uh, compared to the other online shopping options. We're very happy actually because uh, we like Aldi a lot because we have a several go-to products that we use for our house here, at least me in, per, in, in particular, is, I mean, I, I love their instant coffee. It's like $2.90 $2 for like 120 cups of coffee. You can, and once you get used to it, you, you won't really miss your, your $12 lattes and all these other fancy things they convince you to believe. But they also have very low-priced, heavy cream. I'm sure it's made by some common company. I think Walmart also has very affordable heavy cream. They taste identical to me. And they also have very good paper towels at Aldi and uh, budget-friendly baby products. They don't sell alcohol at these Aldis in, in New Jersey. But I really think it was, it was a nice experience. It was a very nice experience to pick up and, and the Instacart app is, is really uh, quite uh, user-friendly. I, mean, I hate to to, to embrace technology like this, but it was, it was surprisingly well done. So that's it. I think you should check out Aldi. And if you have one near you, there are not too many in New Jersey, or at least where we are in the central stretch, there's I think a handful, three, four. So that's it. Try it out. Give it a, give it a shot. Uh, if you live in PA, New Jersey, or New York, or wherever, wherever you can find one, I, I highly recommend it. And we'll talk maybe a little bit more in the future about what products we probably don't recommend from Aldi and what which are our gold standard uh, in general. So that's it. Have a nice day.